Top 6 Places to Eat in Carmel, Indiana Carmel, Indiana is home to over 99,000, so it's neither a small or large community. But the city's excellent food scene makes it perfect for a long weekend getaway or just a quick dining stop. On this video, I will cover the top 6 places to dine in Carmel, Indiana from craft coffee to vegan cuisine. Number one, eggshell bistro. What's a breakfast dish like without eggs? The answer is not possible. Well, at the eggshell bistro, you will experience global recipes with very creative spins by the owner slash chef himself, Larry Haynes. He opened this daytime cafe in 2011 right at the city center and it has become a local staple. The serving usually begins with another thing that they are famous for, coffee. You can always enjoy a single origin pour over coffee or their famous polar opposite, which is coffee with both cold and hot layers of cream, espresso, organic milk, and chicory syrup. Or you can also just opt for their Japanese iced coffee. Seriously, it doesn't really matter what you choose. You are going to love it. Cause they serve coffee from Four Barrel, which is one of the top 10 roasters in the country. They also have premium quality teas for those who do not drink coffee, like me. Yes, I don't like coffee. Blast me. They have a rotating menu of truffle egg brioche, with poached egg, kajiri with soft boiled egg, and chashuka with baked egg, making this bistro a perfect stop for either breakfast or brunch. Now, if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in Indianapolis, Indiana, and the surrounding areas just like Carmel, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Carmel, Indiana. My name is Kara. I'm with FC Talker, your local real estate expert, bringing you another episode of Indie Vibe. <laughs> On to our number two, Cafe Patajou. Now, this is an award-winning cafe founded by Martha Hoover, who has been a six-time semi-finalist of the James Beard Foundation Award. She created this cafe as an original farm-to-table restaurant in the late 1980s. Now, the cafe has two locations in Carmel, one on Clay Terrace and the other one on East Main Street. There are also three other locations in Indianapolis, one in downtown, one in, on uh, Meridian Kessler, right on 49 and Pan, and also one close to Keystone. So pretty much, you will likely be never far from a Cafe Patajou. Now, they do have an all-day breakfast menu serving different kinds of omelet dishes. They also have soups, sandwiches, and salads for lunch. And they serve cocktails. Their mimosa is perfect for brunch, and you absolutely must try their lavender bubbly. You can also take home food to share with family or save for later. You can order soups and quarts and pints and also salads by the pound and a lot of items from their bakery. Now, they were named by Bon Appetit as one of the top 10 places for breakfast in the entire country. So definitely one that you should not miss. Number three, Divi. Michelle Ryder is the chef and co-owner of Divi. She brings vast vegan and vegetarian options to the city center. Now, if you're wondering about the origin of the name Divi, well, actually it means to divide up and share. So essentially, the concept is that you can assemble shareable menu boards from about 30-something sort of unusual items, like edamame hummus, wasabi deviled eggs, cashew cheddar, pineapple preserves, Korean pork tacos, crispy goat cheese, squash tots, and more. Again, it is a sharing plates concept where you get several smaller courses so you get to sample a variety of dishes. It's almost like the Spanish tapas. And you can pair your choices with one of the many flights or booze tours. Now, there is an age restriction in this restaurant. You have to be at least 21 years old or 18 is okay also if you have your carton with you. 
Now, aside from the small place, they also serve lunch from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And they have vegan, lactose, and gluten-free options. It has a great location with an enchanting view of the Palladium. Now, Richelle Ryder is also voted as Indy's top 10 chefs. This is definitely another restaurant in Karma that you should visit. Number four, Bob's Burgers and Ice Cream. Now, this is the ideal ice cream stop when you're exploring the bike trail. It's located in a yellow building in the Carmel Arts and Design District's Monon Trail. It got its name from Matt Frey's childhood nickname, Bug. He is the owner and this burgers and ice cream place is famous for serving handmade burgers from fresh ground chuck flame grilled to perfection. Of course, with the usual fresh tomato, lettuce, pickle, and onion accompanying each burger. One very famous item on the menu is the Big Ugly. It starts at 22 ounces pre-cooked and ends as a one pound burger after cooking. It comes in a half pound bun. <laughs> and if you can eat the whole of it in one city, you will get a small picture of you posted on the wall. Now, if you can finish two, again, in one city, then they will hang an 8 by 11 picture of you in the restaurant. Now, besides the beef burgers, you can also enjoy a low-fat, high-protein gourmet elk burger. And of course, one of their hand-dipped milkshakes is a perfect accompaniment for your burger. So this is a great casual place to go to, and if you are up for the challenge, you might just get your picture on their walls. Number five, books and brews. I guess reading goes hand in hand with a drink. So having an old bookstore crafting its own beer kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> Situated right next to the Eggshell Bistro is the famous Books and Brews. This is a one-of-a-kind bookstore because it creates its own custom literary named beers like Charlie the Chocolate Milk Stout, the Irish-style red ale called Clifford, and the cream and punishment cream ale. Ravelers purchase the beers in cans and on draft while going through their preferred books, which will cost you $3. Apart from the beer and books, you'll also enjoy open mic nights, board games, and a literary food menu, all for a unique but fun experience. Finally, number six, Three Up Rooftop Bar. Now, 3UP opened its doors not too long ago in 2019. Now, initially, there was no rooftop bar in Carmel until 3UP came along. The bar lies above Anthony's Chop House and offers a living wall, sprawling views of the city's downtown area, and a classy cocktail menu. You have eight cocktails to choose from, as well as a small menu of shared plates like sliders, tacos, and pizza. While Carmel experiences winter just like other Midwest cities, the, this rooftop is always open all year round. While outside, you'll relax on the cozy couches beside the fire pit, but you can also keep warm in the indoor bar as you enjoy the cocktails and sometimes live music. So there you have it, folks. These are just among a few of the best places to eat here in Carmel, Indiana. Now, if you are thinking of moving to Indianapolis or the surrounding areas just like Carmel and would like to know more about what it is like living here, please enjoy watching my other videos. And as always, if you have any questions, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Carmel, Indiana. I will see you next time.